Welcome to the 2018 season and the roar before the 24. I'm John Doonan, the director of motorsports for Mazda. As you may have read, thanks to our friends at Racer Magazine and Marshall Pruitt, the Mazda RT24P went through quite a transformation from the middle of 2017 until we've shown up here at the Roar getting ready for the Rolex 24. Visually, from the outside to the naked eye, not much has changed. The same Kodo design language, thanks to our design team in Irvine, California and Hiroshima, Japan, is much the same. But under the skin, a great deal has changed. Dozens and dozens of kilograms have been removed from the overall platform in the way of wiring harnesses and new lightweight floors, new suspension, front and rear, just lighter weight components across the board. This ties in directly with what we call the Gram strategy at Mazda, taking a look at every component of a car and optimizing the platform, not just looking at one uh, major weight loss, but looking at every component. And that's exactly what we've done here. The changes for 2018 have been front to back at the RT24P. Let's start up front. Uh, clearly, one of the biggest benefits in working with Multimatic is their suspension uh, dynamics and suspension technology, and that starts with their DSSV dampers. Um, a rethink primarily on the suspension side for us in lightening up the components, um, motion ratios, um, and a bunch of time in the wind tunnel, which resulted in uh, new aero underneath the car in the way of the floors, the way the air flows, and the way that the floors match up to one another has resulted in a more efficient package um, and more front downforce, uh, which helps uh, the overall performance of the car. In the cockpit, not much has changed. A new steering wheel um, and, and new seats for a, a new driver lineup, but ultimately the cockpit and the ergonomics have remained the same. A new drink bottle system, relatively simple. Um, but one of the areas of concern throughout uh, the early part of 2017 uh, from a performance standpoint was oil, uh, water, and air intake temperatures that were outside of an acceptable or uh, even in a dangerous range um, for the overall package and for the 2-liter MZ 2.0T power plant. So with the improved uh, aero, uh, comes better airflow and new oil uh, radiator, uh, oil cooler rather, new water radiator and new intercooler uh, that has helped us manage the air charge temperatures better, uh, which again makes the engine happier, makes the environment for the engine to operate in uh, far better than it once was. Coming to the back of the car now, uh, Clearly, another benefit again from our Multimatic relationship, a complete rethink and redesign of the rear suspension. Uh, back to a traditional damper setup, uh, again, foundation of that being the DSSV Multimatic produced dampers. Um, all new rear end geometry, all new rear end design, all new lighter weight um, suspension components uh, at the rear of the car. Um, so what we've seen in testing, uh, the drivability uh, has improved, uh, the performance of the car has improved thanks to uh, the diet that the car went on from front to rear. The engine operates in a happier environment. We've controlled the temperatures, oil, water, and air charge. So all in all, uh, the RT24P uh, went through uh, a complete um, makeover, if you will, um, from the middle of 2017, early 2017, uh, to when we show up here on the grid uh, for the Rolex 24 uh, version 2018. The only true visual difference for the avid race fan is a redesign of the side pod. Uh, our design team in Irvine and, and back in Hiroshima worked extremely hard to integrate the Kodo design brand symbol uh, into the front end and throughout the tail as well. But in order to house uh, the new cooling system, uh, slight changes in the side pod were necessary uh, from the front air inlet uh, to the overall packaging 
uh, which now uh, has helped us uh, create a better performing Mazda RT24P uh, to take on all comers in the 2018 IMSA WeatherTech Championship.